Rob and I are both chefs. And we both own our own restaurants. But if we want to take things to the next level, we need to seek out new inspiration. And fresh ideas about food. So, we're born Argentina. And I have no idea what to expect. This is going to be big. On our way to the airport and the long flight to Buenos Aires, we had to make a pit stop at my restaurant, Campagnolo, in downtown Toronto. How's it going, bro? You guys getting ready? Yeah. Nice. We're like actually just leaving. We don't have any knives. Yeah. Robert, <laughs> do you have any sharp knives? I do. No, we can. I need them for the next couple weeks. I know, that's fine. How about these two? That's all we need, two knives. That'll work. And that's a wicked knife. Oh, no, we just need a little stone action. When you own a restaurant, it can be tough to get away. But I have my wife and partner, Alexandra, to keep an eye on things when I'm gone. Okay. okay. Have fun without me. Oh, I will. Don't you worry. Hold down the restaurant. Don't worry. Okay. Love you. Bye. Yeah, it's quite a long flight. I mean, we're literally going to the bottom of the world. We are. And the great thing, though, is that it's the same time zone. So we won't have that adjustment to make. Yeah, we'll just be tired. That's yeah. okay. We're chefs. Yeah. After a long night of flying, we were excited to finally be in Argentina with a long, adventure-filled road ahead of us. I could eat a banana right now. Oh my god, look at those oranges. That thing is so old. It's in good shape, though. It's in great shape. Oh, the city's huge. Oh, yeah, Palermo. We were heading into the Palermo neighborhood of Buenos Aires, filled with cool shops, cafes, and restaurants. Parilla. Isn't that like that, like a mixed grill type thing? Oh, that's it. That's our place. Home Hotel would be our base in Buenos Aires, and you couldn't ask for a better vibe. I love the wood and the, the, the concrete. It's really, really nice. Oh, they have alcohol. How are you doing? Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey, cool. Uh, nacho. You got a nice hey. bar. Right. Look at the cool gin they have there. This one? Yeah. Is the, oh, the Argentine... Really? Yeah. Is it? Oh, I got to bring yeah. some of this back. Yeah, it's really different. It's Oh, that cheese. That smells really, really good. That's awesome. It's so nice. <laughs> That's perfect. I honestly... Look at those trees over there. I, I, we don't have anything like that. It's kind of exotic. Look, there's like spikes on it. What do you call this tree? It's a uh, palo borracho. It's like... Palo like, arracho? Uh, drunk uh, tree. Drunk tree. Drunk tree? Yeah. <laughs> Is the name. Why do they call it drunk tree? Does it grow all? Yeah, but because you see the, the little. It's like a. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> yeah, it's like fat. Yeah. He, he drank too much, uh, too much beer. I found out from Nacho that the Perilla I saw advertised on the way in is actually pronounced Parisia and it's a classic Argentine grill. So it's just, ba ba just open fire. Yeah. You make the fire there. Um, and you spread the coals. Yeah. Cool. So you can, does this lower or? Yeah. That's really, really cool. I wish I had one of these at my restaurant <laughs> outside like this. We met Karina, a local food and wine Karina. expert through a friend Hello. in Toronto, and I'm she agreed nice to be to our guide you. in Buenos Aires. Hello. Welcome to Argentina. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm <laughs> having us. Okay, well, Pleasure. ready to eat? I'm ready. This, this, is, our, this is our jam. We're Perfect. ready to go. <laughs> Portito, I see the it. Next I see it. All right. Night is always lit up. Yes. Oh, like in the fifties. <laughs> like a beacon. So that's an original sign. <laughs> yes. Argentines love pizza, a tradition handed down from Italian immigrants, and the most famous spot to eat it is at El Cuartito. Wow. It smells like cheese. <laughs> it smells just Kilograms like cheese. Yeah, it does. So you have to be very 
time from 1954, so it has a lot of history here from the city of Buenos Aires, always in the same place, always doing the same. I love how busy it is. Bottles of Pepsi. So if you don't have too much time, you can just eat pizza here. Yeah, stand up and get out of here. Uh, we also have our traditional empanadas. It's a pastry with a fill inside. Yeah, I love it. Different flavors as well. It's typical from Argentina. This place has it's just oozing character. Oh my god. Yeah. And history. Look at that. I mean, you can imagine how many people have eaten here in 79 years. Oh yeah. Wow. Sight, sounds, and smells in Cortitos is intoxicating, and we are blown away by the whole operation. Six deck ovens in the back. Here. Like look at these pizzas. Like they're they're not they're not like traditional pizzas, but they no. They're they're it's their own thing, and, and it's amazing. I want to. Look at the amount it. of cheese on there. I want to try the onion and cheese. Like look at the cheese in the oven. Oh my god, you're right, eh? Basically like a fondue on top. I'm getting, of I'm getting hungry. We sat down with Karina and a few of her friends to experience Buena Pizza, Argentina style. It's a big boy beer. First up though, the classic empanadas. All right, here, yeah, right now. <laughs> and in Argentina, always all the regions fight to see who has the best empanadas. Yes, we prepare really? empanadas everywhere. We can share. You want to share? We normally eat empanadas with, your hands. with our hands. Uh, and when it's very juicy, we say open legs. <laughs> I like that. The pastry dough is really nice. It's like thin. This is but normally really, the really, really good. Here. Oh, wow. oh, gracias. The onions are kind of burnt. The salsa is just onion and cheese. Uh, this is the Napolitana uh, with the garlic, and tomato, and this is the classic mozzarella. Just cheese. And just cheese. Yeah. Yeah. We've been in training for this. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I, it's like I, somebody poured a fondue on top of this. So. You want the first slice? No, please. <laughs> That's very good. Oh my god. You're right. The one with the onion? All the pizza places in Argentina, they all like this? Yeah, similar. Yeah. Like just in terms of like. Better or not, but in general, we use uh, the, the top. A lot, a lot of cheese. Oh, I gotta get the olive in there. Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. It's different than this, a little bit less cheese, but the tomatoes are really nice. It kind of cuts it a little bit better up. Garlic, Look, this one's really garlic. Good. I still think the onion's gonna be the best. You think so? Yeah. Mm. I can't believe how much cheese is on here. It's amazing. For breakfast, cold is the best. It's kind of cakey a little bit, crunchy on the bottom. <laughs> so good. We worked off our incredible lunch with a stroll through the Plaza Venticinco de Mayo. That is the government house, it's where the presidents work. This is really cool. The main or most famous demonstration here is that one of the uh, grandmothers and mothers of the May Square. Every Thursday, 3 o'clock, 
the Mitterrand, the Mitterrand, this. Every Thursday. Mm -hmm. Three o'clock. Okay. To proclaim justice for the children disappeared during our last military dictatorship. From 1974 to 1983. A lot of people disappear. Yes, families. Yeah. A lot of young people. Friends, uh, really? uh, yes. yes. At university or whatever, like they were like asking for their rights. And, exactly. Yeah. Oh well, it was a very sensitive period. So, next stop, we're gonna have a coffee. An excellent coffee. Oh, in beautiful. A fantastic place. It's part of this collection of notable places oh, okay. of Buenos Aires heritage, and it's the oldest coffee of the city as well. The most visited place for everyone here, I guess that is it like, the, the, it's wow. like one of the big doors of the city when yeah. ev every, everybody comes here in Buenos Aires, it's like a must. Stepping into Cafe Tortoni was like going back in time and you could really sense the history of Buenos Aires here. Oh, wow. hey. This is a very cool spot to grab coffee. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. I, I like the buildings here, like they're they're very European. Terrazzo again? Yeah, or, yeah, granite tiles, whatever. They don't make things like this anymore. No. Right. Normally, we drink a cortado. Okay. Yes. But but is, it, is, is it espresso? No. No, it's no, drip espresso. coffee. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then if you want, you can order just espresso. No, I want to try the cortado. No, it's still different. Oh, look at the churros. Our coffee stop was a good opportunity to get an overview of Argentine culture from Karina. Here in particular in Argentina and in particular in Buenos Aires, we have a very cosmopolitan atmosphere and we are made by immigrants, but especially we are very European. That we can mix the, the yeah. spirit of Latin people and in that respect we are so open and yeah, friendly yeah. and we like to kiss everybody and yeah. if we are at that time with, with that spirit. Okay. But at the same time, culturally speaking, we are very European. The, the way that we think, that we are, our character. It's a city that never sleeps. It has a very active cultural life, all time, day and night. You have the chance to have the kitchens open, so yeah. the disco, they start at 3 a.m. maybe. <laughs> or 2 or 3 a.m., yes, and they finish at 8 in the morning. Yeah, that's what we live for, you know, new experiences. Britney could be worse. Listen, we could be at work tonight on the line, but we're here in Argentina having a great time. Drinking coffee. Drinking great coffee, yeah. yeah. Uh, Littlest hobo. There's so many dogs. This, this tree is just incredible. Like, it's like, look at it. It's absolutely incredible. Big ass tree, holy shit. As night fell, we walked through the streets of the posh Recoleta neighborhood, on our way to one of Buenos Aires' newest restaurants. Street in Recoleta neighborhood. It's a beautiful place. So it's like Amazing. a secret place. You know, one time you don't know exactly what is it. This is beautiful. Oh my god. It's stunning. It's a totally surprising entrance. Wow. We're going to meet the owner. Hi. Hi. Good Salon. evening. Hi. Hi. I'm Ron Salon. Nice to, nice to meet you. you. Hello, Craig. Craig. Nice Ron Salon. Nice to meet you. Thank you well, so much. Welcome to Tarquino. Thank, Thank you for coming. You. We're very happy to be here. Let me introduce you to Dante Dante yeah. He's the oh, chef. Thank you. Pleasure. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Chef Dante invited us into his kitchen to watch him make his signature appetizer, a deconstructed pizza. Onions. That's pizza bread. Okay. So he said I eat this first? First, this here. And then the pizza. Tastes 
tastes like pizza. <laughs> they taste like pizza. It's, it's an appetizer, so it's like a... Este es el appetizer de Arquina. Es un appetizer que ya estamos cansados de dar, pero que no podemos sacarlo porque la gente lo yeah, pide. We cannot take this appetizer as it's so popular yeah. and everybody that comes keeps yes, asking and asking for this pizza bowl. Well, I see why. Chef Dante has also created a special menu called the cow sequence that features small dishes made from every part of the cow, starting with the brain. We are starting with the brain okay. of the cow. The thing about brain is it's just absolutely soft, soft and absolutely delicate. Very nice. This will represent the morning. <laughs> the morning in the forest when the cows are going out. That's very really cool, actually. I like the little sandwich. Sometimes it's nice to eat little small things. Next up, beef cheeks with honey. I love beef cheeks. Me too. I do like sweet things with the beef cheek. Yeah. You know what? That's a really interesting pair. We're getting deeper and richer. Bigger. Bigger wine. As every part of the cow was being used, the sequence continued with some offcuts like sweetbreads and intestines. I've had sweetbreads. You know, yeah, I'm gonna go in for the times. I'm gonna go for the intestines. I feel like this was grilled over charcoal. It's good. We finished off the sequence with flank steak. Flank steak, mushroom marmalade, and garlic puree. You know what? There's something about like that. Just a classic combo of mushrooms and beef. Classic, classic berries, right? Ooh. We met up with more friends of Karina, who took us out on a bit of a bar crawl and a sampling of the up-and-coming cocktail culture in Buenos Aires. Okay. The cocktail innovation here is fantastic, using lots of different natural ingredients and cool techniques. Smoked. The hour was late, but our friends insisted we try another bar for more drinks and a late night snack. We are arriving now to the Floreria Atlantico. This is the place. So it's a wine shop by it's day? It's a kind of wine shop and yeah, a flower shop. Downstairs we will have the surprise of the bar. Floreria Atlantico had a secret entrance and it led to an underground space. It was named one of the top 10 bars in the world. Our new friend Rodo ordered the drinks, and the bartenders here were no less skilled, creating amazing cocktails. like more of a lady's drink than yours. Yeah, we can change it. <laughs> <laughs> Party. That is really good. What is that in the bottle? Is that a sugar cube? Yeah, yeah, sugar cube. It's soaked in bitters. Yeah. yeah it's, uh, it's really, really cool. Classic. Good. Okay, we'll do a, we'll do a switch. Yeah, please. This is really good, too. That is so cool. 
behind the bar, there was more surprises. A Parisian built in the 1800s is the only basement grill in the city, serving up delicious Argentine specialties. The food is very pretty. I like it. It's very like simple. They love cheese. We love cheese. Amazing, white anchovies. I have to try a piece with everything. The tongue has a nice texture and then all the different flavors. These are done in a pan for sure. I know. Wow. This is a centocha soup. You don't know centocha. Centocha is a huge crab without okay. Patagonia. Only Patagonia. Like yeah. The only place in the world where there is this kind of crab. It's like such a big crab. Yeah. Very nice. Centocha is Patagonian shrimps yeah. and a squid. Small squid. Oh my god. That's a real blood sausage. Holy cow. Oh boy. Barely held together. Probably a little cream, a little butter. Definitely packed with what? Eh? Packed with what? The owner of this place. Yeah. He just made this cheese. First Argentine premium cheese. We finished our first day in Argentina with a special local gin and a toast to our new friends. Really good. <laughs> On our next episode, we'll continue exploring Buenos Aires and the rustic food culture found throughout this great city. Especially at Masticar, an annual food festival starring the top chefs in the country, cooking up delicious dishes for thousands of appreciative fans.